하나, 둘, 셋, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. I'm Danny, and today I'll be your host. Hi, I'm Bella, and I'm from Germany. Woo! Hi, I'm Ethan, I'm from China. Lady Killer Week. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Mira and I'm from Kazakhstan. A lot of international people, when they want to live in South Korea, I think that they will think about Seoul. Basically, it's like the capital city of South Korea and it's like one of the most popular cities maybe in the whole world, right? And today, we'll be talking about living in Busan as basically a foreigner. Personally, I've been living here for around three years now. Yeah. I've been living in Busan for almost six months, three years, the same as me. Was that three years? So the first benefit would be the transportation. So it's called Dynamic Busan. It's called the Dynamic Busan. <laughs> and I think yeah. it's quite dynamic because <laughs> the buses and the uh, subway was uh, till midnight. Comfortable to use, not so complicated as in Seoul. I think that um, the subway in Busan is much better than the buses just because <clears throat> the subway is much faster. But in Seoul, I feel that the buses are much faster than the subway. Because sometimes buses go to directly to the route you want to go to, but in Seoul, you have to like go to another line yeah. and transfer even though it's really close together. It depends on where you want to go in Busan. I think subway is much more convenient and fast. Because it's all so crowded, like there's too many people. Yeah, you subway. never get a seat. But even right. in busy times in Busan, you can still get a seat. Yeah, even though people are like complaining here, like, oh, there's so many people in the subway. But yeah, and then there's like, <laughs> nothing which is compared yeah. to like in Seoul? I'm not even sure if you can like breathe like a decent yeah. air. It's Seoul it's like this, yeah. but in Busan when there's a lot of people, it's like you have this this much space between people. There's a lot of people yeah. in Busan. <laughs> the only thing is that Seoul transportation is cheaper than Busan. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. Did not know that. but here it's Chang Oh yeah. Which yeah. brings us to the next benefit, which is the people. You know, I've heard a lot of stories from a lot of my friends who has lived in Seoul before. Like they've been saying that Busan people are kinder. When I started to learn Korean, I did learn it here in Busan, and now I do speak with a little bit Busan Indonesian. And some people they will definitely think that I'm from Busan, and it makes me feel like I'm at home, even though I. I know it's not very good to just like judge people from yeah. where they're from. Yeah. I do get that kind of advantage, the feeling of emerging with the culture. Yeah, Koreans just like when uh, international people speak some Korean, but if you try to speak Busan dialect, they will be more excited, like, wow, yeah, <laughs> really? Like, when I go to Seoul and try to speak uh, Pyojuno, the basic. Like that Korean? is underlying Korean. Yeah, they're still saying like, oh, your Korean is kind of deeper. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because um, in Seoul now you're kind of expected to know Korean. They either think you don't know Korean at all, or they expect you to know Korean like right away. You say one word, and they're like, oh, you know Korean. <gasps> but even if you don't know Korean, I think they are still very nice. Yeah. And yeah. they try to help you a lot, like. I was in the subway and I wasn't sure which way should I go. But of course, I can figure it out by myself because I've been living here for a long time and I've been living in Seoul for a long time, so I'm not a cute to you know. <laughs> um, but there's this Ajima who was like, you know, hey, where do you have to go? And I was like, oh, I have to go here. And she's like, you have to take this way. And then I was like, oh, thank you so much. And I was like, so touched because oh, yeah. she just tried to use Korean, use English. And I was like, this is an Ajima trying to help. No. Seoul is definitely more individualistic because people from all over the world, many of them are living in Seoul right now, unlike here in Busan. And a lot of young people. The next point is the cost living in Busan. Uh, sorry, <laughs> your favorite part? <laughs> it's definitely more affordable if you live here in Busan compared to the capital city. I've heard a lot of stories that in Seoul, they need to pay at least like 600 to 800 bucks to have like a very small studio if you compare it to Busan you can definitely get a very spacious and very big place for that kind of money after comparing I realized that in Busan it's a very good range like a price and the quality especially to live near the ocean it's so cool oh, and yeah. you have one of the it's perfect and it's not mm. so expensive there even it's a good area <laughs> which also brings us to the next point which is the nature I've heard a lot of people when they travel to Busan 
they will definitely visit the famous South Korean beaches. You can definitely go to Haeundae or Gwangalli. Yeah, and there's the five beaches like Haeundae, Seoul, Seonjeon, and Nadeko. There are five yeah, beaches. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of beaches. beaches. Wow. They're not famous, but Busan people they actually go more to like Tadeko and Seonjeon. Oh yeah, like oh, Tadeko. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but it's quite far, far yeah. away, right? From but, here, it's an hour. People in Seoul, I'm not sure if they have the kind no, of scenery. Of mm. Like there's obviously there's nature around, but it's not like Busan. Yeah. Busan is like anywhere you go, you will see a mountain in the background, and that's one of the reasons I love Busan because anywhere you go, you see a mountain. Yeah. You know, Literally, you're in Tomyeon, you're like, oh, there's a mountain back there. <laughs> Literally, like. like <laughs> The name of the city itself, Busan. Busan. Yeah, the sun is actually like the mountain. Yeah, yeah. And because of the, like uh, seeing here, the air quality is much better. Oh, yeah. Than yeah. And the whole Korea. It's so nice. In South Korea, there's a big problem related to the misemundi, <clears throat> and people are complaining. A lot of them just like wear. Masses yeah. while well, going mostly up. Mostly in Seoul. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, but mostly in Seoul. Like yeah. a very severe. And there's not much Seoul. space between the buildings yeah. in yeah, yeah, Seoul, so the that, yeah. air is really trapped. But it's not like that here in Busan mm -hmm. because it's, you know, we have a lot of nature. Even though we do have a bit of an air pollution here, well, you can yeah. see the sky. You can, <laughs> you can see the blue sky. Uh, that's the point. It reminds me back home to Indonesia because we do have like a very blue sky. The last point that I'm going to talk about is the festivals. Busan is actually the second biggest city in South Korea. We will have a lot of festivals for not just for the local people but definitely for the international people who are visiting Busan. Busan is well known for its beaches. I've gone to this Hada Ah, sea festival. Like, yeah. I saw Ayu performing in Hyundai. It's just like one of those famous festivals that you can find here in Busan. Only in Busan. Yeah, there's just like a different vibe when it's right on the beach, when there's a festival right on the beach. It just gives it an extra like, oh my god, we're on the beach. Yeah. There's also the firework festival in Busan. Yeah. And everybody was just uh, seeing the festival while drinking or just eating like the Korean fried chicken and just emerging to that Korean culture. I went like four hours early and I almost didn't have a seat. Oh. I had to like sit in between two like picnic like thingies. Oh, and yeah, two like groups the... of people I was like, you <laughs> sit here. There's like only like a small little piece of sand that I can sit on. Oh. But still like it's really fun and the best part is that they have like the music that is going with the fireworks. With the fireworks. So it kind of reminds me Reminded me of like Disney. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They have that too. And I was like, oh my god. And they have some so nice. various range of music, like from pop yeah, to classic. Yeah. Cool. yeah. And they have fireworks coming off the bridge. Oh. And it made it look like it was like raining. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one of the most famous festivals would be the Busan. Yeah. International Film Festival. I was volunteering there this year, and it was so cool. Very famous actors and actor, mm -hmm. actor, uh, actors come to this festival and directors, and we translated what they said. Yeah. And the thing is, it's not just an international festival. You know, a lot of the Korean festivals they're called international festivals, but they're not. But this is actually like an actual international festival where. People Producers from, and yeah. actors come from other oh, countries. Yeah. I didn't get to volunteer, which I really want to, but I watched this movie, a Filipino movie, and then the actor yeah. and the producer came, and it was really cool. Yeah, like, they wow. have the interview with the audience. And, and they have so many movies that you can pick. Most of the people come to Korea because of the K-dramas and K-pop especially. And uh, in Busan, there's a Busan One Asia Festival, which is also goes every year where the many idols come and perform and the tickets are not so expensive it's kind of Imana, 20,000 oh. uh, so NCT, ET, like Blackpink even come, uh, have come here yeah, and uh, EXO but it's all, it's so hard to get a ticket because yeah. the competition is so high and uh, it's expensive, the tickets are expensive kind of yeah. and in Busan, some of the major festivals are affordable and it's kind of easy to get a ticket Alright, so thank you all for listening to this discussion and I hope that it could be helpful for anyone who wants to live in South Korea. Maybe you should definitely consider about living in Busan. Bye!